Population and samples. So the population and samples, the key behind this is they're basically asking you for these two items, who? They're asking you, who is the population? Who is the sample? And the difference between them is the sample would be a subset of the population, where the population is looking at all, and a sample is going to be some kind of subset overall. Okay, so what that means is, let's say I'm randomly sampling 500 students from the university. The sample would be the 500 students. The population would be all those university students overall. Now, of course, the question from here now is, what are we sampling? Well, that's going to be a parameter or a statistic. So parameter and statistic are going to be the what. It's going to be typically the numerical value that we're looking at overall here. Now, the nice thing about this is for a population, we're going to get a parameter. For a sample, we're going to get a statistic. So again, who is the population? From the population, we'll get what? A parameter, a numerical value. Who would be the sample, which is a subgroup. And from that sample, we will get what? The numerical value, the statistic. Generally speaking, parameters are unknown which is why in a lot of cases what we're going to see is a sample statistic will be used to estimate a population parameter. In real life, we don't know what's going on with large populations. So in statistics, we take samples to estimate that population parameter. Now, in general, you may be asked to identify the difference between a parameter and a statistic. So to go over two examples, here's the first one. If an instructor decides to randomly divide a class up and assign one class reading material and the other videos to review for a test tomorrow. The average on the test for students with the reading material was 85 and for the videos was 80. 80 and 85 in this case, well notice they came from a sample of students. They were calculated from samples. So in this case, both of these are gonna be statistics because they're both coming from samples. The 85 was an average from one sample of students, and the 80 was an average from another sample of students. One more example. For class registration, for the university to not cancel class, at least 75% of seats need to be filled. A random class is selected from the list of the registrar, and currently 78% of that class is filled. 75% and 78% would be in this case, 75% is not attached to a sample. It is a generalization. It's saying for all classes. So therefore, 75% is going to be a parameter. 78% is from a randomly selected class. So that's from a sample overall. We're sampling a class and obtaining that 78% is going to be a statistic. And so those are the differences when you're asked to identify the what for the parameter, which comes from the population, and a statistic, which comes from a sample.